Hello everyone, it's Paola, and today we are doing Critique Part 2. So yes, today we are doing another critique video where I critique your work that you have submitted. The first one went great, everyone was really positive, and a lot of people wanted to submit their work too. So I think we're going to keep doing this until people don't want to submit their work anymore. It could just be an ongoing thing um, every you know, few months, whatever. But I want to say, disclaimer, this is like for fun, okay? I know that critiques are really, really helpful. I am a graphic designer. I know that from art school. Uh, critiques are my favorite thing. I love getting feedback on my work and I love giving feedback on other people's work because I think it's really beneficial. That's sort of a disclaimer of like why I'm doing this. I'm not doing it because I'm like, I'm better than you, whatever. It's literally just because this is a very helpful exercise, it's fun, and we get to talk about and see other people's work and get inspired. So with all that being said, let's get into critiquing. So I'm gonna put things up on the screen here, but I'm also looking at my laptop that I have in my lap, as you can see. Um, so we are going to get going. So first we have a magazine cover design. So what I like about this image right off the bat is the simplicity of it. I really think that the typography is really strong, especially this little small paragraph text on the left. I think the alignment is great and there's nothing super weird or off-putting about it. Um, you know, nothing like glaringly obviously weird. I think it's really nice in how simple it is because it, it shows that you took the time to think about the type and think about where things are going. The thing I would say that could be tweaked maybe is the cutoff of the neck of the image. I really like the image and I think it looks really strong and beautiful, but I think maybe if there were some sort of type that was over that instead of going straight down the side, that could be a way to cover up the, the cutoff neck or even just moving that picture up. I don't know if you're going for the collage effect. Maybe if you are going for the collage effect, do a little more of it, push it a little further. But overall, I really, really like this. Next, we have this booklet. I think it looks great. And you said it was for a photography class. So I think it's pretty cool, the concept that you went with. I'm not really here to judge you on the concept or anything, but I think the concept is really cool. And the way you expressed it in the photography and also the design elements, I think is really strong. And your mock-ups are really strong too. So if anyone doesn't know what mock-ups are, it's basically like putting in your design into like a photo, like a kind of a stock photo of like a booklet, you know, or like something nice, making it look like it's actually like in the world, you know, if you didn't print it and didn't get to photograph it, it's a great way to put your designs into like a framed image on a wall even though it's like not really on a wall you know what i mean so the mock-ups are really good because they make it look solid professional you know what i mean i really love the typeface that you use that makes it look like a fingerprint like the lines and like a fingerprint that is really cool really strong and goes exactly with your concept of like you know human and, and pronouns and you know expectations of gender i think that's really interesting that you use that sort of typeface the one critique i have is a typography based critique because you know me i am obsessed with type i got to i got to call it out where i see it <laughs> you have a few orphans in here so if you don't know what an orphan is that's basically like in a paragraph of text or a few lines of text when you have one word on the bottom just kind of hanging out there and you just kind of left it I would say work with that and work to fix those. It looks a lot better when you have text. It's a lot more readable to not have something just hanging off the side or like the bottom just on its own. Well, let me check my DMs real quick. Okay, next up, you sent me a few, so I'm going to touch on two of your designs. The first one being this balloon animal one. I really like this one. I love the colors and I love the style of the balloon image that you, that you have produced here and also uh one thing i want to say is the typeface i think could be stronger i think it looks a little like plain and i think i mean it needs to be like sans serif definitely very like it needs to be very modern but i think you could do something else with it tweak it a little bit and also maybe offset it just a little bit more so it's not overlapping but i really like it or maybe make it overlap more I'm coming up with ideas, but I really like this one. I think you could do even more with it. I think it's cool and kind of funny. Also, the AIGA shirt I think is really cool. I think you can experiment with 
doing your own type more. I think that'd be so fun. I really like your illustration style and yeah, I want to see more of it. So keep doing it. Next we have an album cover. I've been trying to think of what to say that can be helpful, but sometimes a critique is just, it can be positive feedback and you know, you're doing good, you're doing great. And I think that this is really strong. I think that the, the choices you've made are very strong with the image next to the type, the type choice paired with the image. I really like how you have bolded the word snake a little bit more than the rest of it. Overall, I think it's a really strong album cover because it feels thought out and yet it's still simple, you know? I hope that was helpful. I'm trying. <laughs> okay, next, this beauty bar logo. So my thoughts on this are that I think you could do more with the different thicknesses, is that a word? of the lines so i like the concept and i like i can see what you're doing here but i think maybe you should experiment with the thickness of the lines and maybe bring in that v shape because right now it does look like the letter v and i don't think that v is kind of part of the logo if it is isn't, sorry if i had that wrong but i think you could bring that in make it look less like a v and then change the thickness of the v's to really emphasize what it actually is of the logo and I think then it would be a little bit stronger um, but then I like the beauty bar part underneath I so I think yeah if you just brought it in switched up the the thickness I think it could be really really strong I like the direction it's going and I can see it I can see the vision I just think it could be a little bit better now we have two logos that I just want to touch on a little bit of both because you said you're putting together your portfolio for college I feel like that's important, so let's talk about it. I love both of these logos right off the bat. I know you're not supposed to say that in a critique. In a critique, you're supposed to say what you like about it and what you don't like about it or what could be improved, whatever. This is good. <laughs> what I love about the Summer Camp one is that it has its imperfect qualities, but it makes it feel like hand done in a way. So I love that obviously it's a perfect circle and you have the type that looks great over it but the you know the lines of the summer camp banner i think it's cool that it's like more like hand drawn looking you know not perfect and i love how you have the tree coming out of the circle i think it's really strong and it shows exactly what it's for it's very clear and i think it's really cute and it's successful also love the colors on this one and also the typeface you wouldn't think that it would go but it actually really goes and i'm surprised that you found something that just works so perfectly with it you have your colors great i think wow okay i'm speechless i just really like it and i think you're doing great so keep it up <laughs> next we have this logo for PETA. what i think is really successful in this logo is that you have captured the feeling of animals in your typeface it's uh, the way you've done it, the the way you've skewed the letters, I think you've really captured the feeling that we all think of when we think of pets. Uh, I think it's playful and, and good, and I think the cat jumping over is great. I think it's a really strong design. Um, for what it is, I think it is very strong. I don't think this sort of typeface would work anywhere else, and I don't think that it would be very successful if it wasn't for PETA, but obviously it is. I mean, you know what you're doing. I can see that. And I really, I really like it because I think it works. And that's really sometimes all that design needs to do is work because it doesn't have to be super flashy all the time. I don't think this is flashy. I think it's simplistic and great. Next, we're going to talk about this logo. So uh, she told me, it's, she told me, that is a landscaping company and it says Solution solutions of landscaping can i read so i think that this logo is very successful as well what i'm not really sure on is the drop shadow of the middle part the middle section right here i am not really a big fan of drop shadows i don't really find them very useful in a lot of things unless you actually want to make it look like it has a shadow under it i don't know i don't it's just a design aesthetic that I'm not really sure on. If you're sure on it, by all means, go for it. But yeah, it's just something that I don't really personally like. Personal choices, personal opinions. But I love the way you did the typeface and I think that it looks really great around the circle. Um, and then also the part on the top, I would experiment with changing that up. Where can it go? 
could you make it bigger could you make it smaller i don't know i want to see a little more options on on where the type goes from there um but yeah overall i think it's really strong i really like the circle and i like the typeface that says adelante because it looks very like logo like it looks special it looks like it's made for this this design if it is i'm not sure if it's a typeface or if you actually made it but pretty cool so i'm going to comment on the booklet and the bag here so i think the colors are really really cool in this supreme thing it's like a supreme uh toothpaste packaging which i think is great um and i think the way you presented it is cool i mean you're showing the package in a booklet like if it were a design book or something that's pretty cool um the colors are very like vapor wavy uh super bright super cool and then the bag i think the bag looks sweet i mean it looks like it's for an event is it is this supposed to be for an event um i'm not sure if you told me that i'm sorry i forgot but i really think it looks like a cool bag that people would want at like some cool event or like conference or something i feel like you could do like branding like for a conference that's your vibe so yeah into this so i'm going to touch on this logo design first of all in your message you were like these probably aren't very good the ones i got i really liked them i thought they were really strong i do want to talk about the logo though just so i can tell you how to change it up maybe make it a little stronger but guys stop trashing yourselves you're good you're talented i'm like impressed by all of you for real i'm not like oh this is disgusting and lying to you i'm really impressed so for this logo i think something that you could do to make it a bit stronger is not have outside lines on it so maybe on parts of it you want outside lines but i think the bean the bean in the middle i don't think it needs a bordering line i think you could have it as it is or if you want to like push it further make the lines thicker right now it just looks sort of like a drawn you know standard like one point two point line and i think that you could do something different either get rid of it entirely change it up change up the colors or make it bigger make it bolder and make it look very intentional right now i'm not really sure on the intention um, but I really like it and I think that it has potential. Just keep working with it and you will get there. Okay, let's talk about this kick the bucket thing. I am dying. I love it. <laughs> I love the concept. I think it's so funny and I like that you do humor in your work. My friend Jake, who was in my critique in the first one with me, he is like so ridiculous with his like morbidity and comedy in his designs too. So... <laughs> I feel like you guys have something in common. Um, what I thought was really, really strong is the fact that you have a whole branding guide to this. I love how detailed it is. You have, you know, the typefaces, you have the imagery, you have the colors, you have it all. You have it all, like, broken down. And I think that's really, really strong to show that you think things through, that you're, you know, planning out the whole design from start to finish. That's a really good thing to have in your portfolio, by the way, for anyone uh, who is, like, trying to figure out how to put together a portfolio. Um, having a whole like rebrand or a brand that you've made from start to finish and all the details is really strong to show that you really pay attention to all of that and that you know what you're doing. Um, anyway, <laughs> about yours, I think it's so funny and I think what is really getting me is like the childlike quality of this. So it's about death, but then at the same time you're like, um, it looks like it's for kids. That's really clever because it's unexpected. Is this like for children dying? I'm not sure. That part might get a little dicey, but the branding is really cool. I'm not sure about this fire truck sand pit like items. I think that part is a little, little sketchy, um, but that's just a concept like critique. But I think it's really, really strong. The way you've completed it is strong. The design aesthetic is strong. Everything's strong. I support you. <laughs> Go for it. Now, last but not least, I looked at your portfolio, Emma, and I am... Uh... <laughs> the way you have your website laid out, I know I'm not supposed to be critiquing your website, but I think it looks so amazing because it looks very professional. It's very easy to navigate, and I just think that it's great. I think that it would be a little unfair for me to critique one thing on your portfolio because from looking at it, it is so well thought out and very detailed. And honestly, I just really, really like your work. 
And so that is my critique to you, is that I really support your work. And I think a lot of people watching this will benefit from going to your website and checking it out and seeing how you've laid things out. Because what I especially like about this is that you have thought out how you're presenting your work, not just the design itself. So you've thought out mock-ups, you've thought out photography of your of your work, branding, you've thought out, you know, all of these different projects and and where they would work and where they would go and you know their place in the world and I think that you've done an excellent job of that so this is very beneficial for a lot of other people and I'm gonna use you as an example love it love it guys we made it through we talked about them all and I am so excited like that made me really inspired and you know I'm very impressed with all of you. I feel like all of you are so talented. You have so much potential. A lot of you were messaging me like, I'm not even in school yet. Like, what? You're doing amazing. <laughs> I wasn't doing anything before I was in school. So yes, I am just so happy that all of you guys choose to follow me and you know want my opinion at all. You know, this is just a very beneficial thing, a very back and forth thing. So it's fun. It's just open communication to talk about design and art and all of that and yeah so if you oh hello so if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and let me know if you want to see another one and also what you want to see in future videos i have a lot of ideas but i always love your guys's ideas talking to you guys in the comments also if i critiqued your work let me know in the comments what you thought of my critique let's talk about it why not um and i will see you in my next video please subscribe if you haven't do all the things ring the bell blah, blah, blah. bye do I look disgusting enough?